hello again and welcome to our pumpkin carving session pumpkin carving session okay so we have some items here we have our pumpkin we have our solid pumpkin and then we have our pre-carved pumpkin for our practice round okay we have our tools okay we have our cutting tool our digging tool and kind of like our scooping tool okay we have a pen here's our pen and a trash bag and our pattern okay so this was our pattern our pattern was two triangles a rectangle nose and a circle mouth okay and this is how our first one came out and uh, let's actually, we had a second pattern. I see our little Joe Sutta. So he looks like he ate too much candy. Take, this, take a look at this. He ate too much candy and now he's sick. So, we are going to carve the next pumpkin. Let's move this one out of the way. Our second pattern was actually this one. Almond-shaped eyes, maybe eyebrows, a realistic nose, and teeth, a smile with teeth that are missing. Okay, we are going to try that with this one. Okay, so we have our trash bag here. We are not throwing anything away, though. We are going to use every part of this pumpkin, okay? And we are going to give the parts that we don't want to the worms right now. We are going to save some of the seeds to roast. We are going to save some of the seeds to put back out into the garden. And we will also put the decaying pumpkin into the worm bin when we're done using the pumpkin. Okay, so all of this will be used. Nothing will be thrown away. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to use my pen to first draw the eyebrows. I'm going to put them kind of high. Okay. Just little rounded lines. And then we're going to do the almond shaped eyes. Okay. Um, I don't want to do anything too fancy because I'm using these little tools. And I'll make sure I get it right. Okay. So then here's a little realistic nose, I guess. We'll make it go up like that okay and then let's make his mouth like this straight line we'll bring it down like this and some teeth here and there okay How about five teeth okay so this is what we're working with okay so let's get started. Okay, we're going to use our cutting tool. Okay, so it's a little tool like that. Okay, so we're going to just stick it into the eyebrow. And just basically follow the line. Okay, we want to stay on the line because that's our pattern. And this way, we have a less chance of making a mistake. Okay. I'm just going to try to just put little thin slits right here into his eyebrow. Let's see if I can pull out these little slippers here. Okay. Might have to go back over that. But let's keep going. So let's do this one. But it's also not hard. So just want to be careful. Go a little slow if you can. If you're doing this at home, make sure you have parent supervision. Watch your fingers. Okay. And just keep your eyes on what you're doing so that nothing dangerous happens. Okay. So I'm just going to get the eye here. And I'm just going to try to. Stay on that line, like I was saying before. 
and these eyes are kind of realistic to look like human eyes or maybe like um, dog or cat eyes okay so here's one eye number two and we're going to just keep cutting that here so that you know if you put a light or anything inside you can kind of see through it okay. oh it looks pretty good okay so then let's also do the nose so I'm just going to poke it in right there and just go around a little curve there but you know so just gonna do my best and see how it turns out it's just off done anyway okay so let's see here i'm gonna have to cut that top part out so here's his nose let's take a look at that oh. the nose How's it looking? Oh, I need to cut a little bit more into it so that you can see the definition of it. Okay, there we go. And now let's do this mouth. Let's see if we can get these teeth really good here. Okay, let's see. So I'm going to cut the teeth. Okay, so I'm going to start at the edge of that tooth right here. And then I'm going to be very careful because I actually really want this mouth to turn out really nicely. Okay, so then do that part. I'm going to poke it in. Try to go around the teeth like I'm a dentist, you know. I want him to poke, keep his teeth. Looks like he's already eaten too much candy. Doesn't have all of his teeth. Okay, so I'm going up and down. And I'll let you see what I'm doing. In just a second, let's see here. Okay, get a close up. So, so far, this is what we have, okay? So let's keep going. to be an artist so um, I'm trying new things to see what I'm good at. <laughs> Pumpkin carving might be one of them. You let me know how I do. Let's see here. So we're almost done. And this is his last tooth here. And I might need to carve the top first. Let's see here. Oh no, let's see. I think I can get the whole thing out. Let's carve the top first. Okay, so I'm going to take my pen. Should have done this one first. And just do a little circle around the top. Okay. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, circle around the top. And then I'm going to use this same tool. It's nice and bent up now, but I'm going to poke it inside. Almost to the, to the where I started, to the part the part where I started. Okay, almost there. There we go. Okay, and this one. Okay, so here we have the 
the stem and the top and then take a look at the inside of this pumpkin so many goodies in there okay so first I'm going to take our scooping and I'm just going to dig around it dig around Scrape it. Scrape it. Scrape it. And scrape and try to get as many of these things out. Okay. And loosen it up. And then let's take a look at our mouth. Let's see if I can push it out. Okay, some of it. Of it. Let's see. Let's see. I'm just clean it up a little bit. You know, I'm his dentist today. Too much candy there, guys. Okay, and let's take a look at his mouth. I can poke my finger in there. Pull out this goo. So slimy and gooey. Ugh. The worms are gonna love this. And we're gonna wash these and toast them. And that will be a whole different video. So for now, let's take a moment to clean this up. And we'll be back with part two.